Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you are enjoying this lovely wet weather we're having this weekend. Um, it's nice and stormy, uh, but you know, we need it. The earth needs it to grow. We all need it. And so we're thankful for that, but please stay safe and stay dry. We're praying for you. But boys and girls, we want to come to you today and let you know about a song that we're going to be singing on Sunday morning. That's tomorrow morning. And it's during the kids spot pre-service before the service starts. So make sure you turn on the service about 950 and they'll start um, the message from Miss Stephanie. And the song is We Are the Free from Matt Redman. So what does it mean we are the free? What are we free from? Are you locked up in a cage? Are you bound up? Well, not literally. I mean, most of us are not in prison or anything like that. We are walking around free in the country of America, which thank goodness we do um, have the freedoms we do. But in our hearts, when we're born, we are bound by something called what? Sin right sin binds us from being able to have a relationship with God because sin is not holy and God is holy and pure so that sin has to stay separated from him but who came to set us free from that what's his name is it Bob no what's his name Jesus Christ. That's right. God sent his son Jesus to make us free from that bondage of sin, right? And that's called redemption. Okay. And so we have been redeemed from that sin, made new. And so boys and girls, this song talks about how we as believers, children of God, are free from sin. Okay. And we don't have to be bound by that sin anymore. We are free to have a relationship with God, free to know what is good and right and love, all of those things that God is, all the fruits of the Spirit. We don't have to be bound by that sin anymore. We have been redeemed from the sin. And because of that, we should have a fire in our hearts. What does that mean to have a fire in our hearts? Do we have an actual flame burning in our hearts? Because I'm pretty sure if we did have an actual flame burning in our hearts, we'd all like explode. But what that means is just a passion, right? When you love something so much that you have to go and tell the world, right? When you are so excited about something that you just have to tell somebody. Or when you're so excited to get to know somebody, maybe you have a new friendship, you just wanna call them on the phone, or you just wanna go down the street and ride bikes with them. You have that passion to get up and wake up and go talk to them. That's what it should be like with our relationship with God. We have that fire in our hearts to get to know Him, to have a relationship with Him, to read his word every day, to pray with him every day, and to tell others about him every day. Do you have that fire in your heart? If you believe in Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for us, that he rose from the dead for us, then you should have a fire in your heart to get to know him more and to tell others about him. Well, what does the scripture say about all of this? Let's read. I have to tell you a secret. Miss Beth is trying out contacts. Yeah, I normally wear glasses, but I'm trying out contacts um, to see if they're gonna work. And so I have to wear readers right now. So here we go. All right, let's see what the scripture says. In Psalm 107, two, it says, has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out. Tell others he saved you. Right? Has the Lord redeemed you? Made you whole and made you new? 
then tell others about it. Don't hold back. Have that fire in your heart to spread the news that he can redeem them too, that he can make them whole again, that he can break them from that bondage of sin. And let's also look at another verse. Let's see. In Romans, this one is in the New Testament, Romans 12, verse 11. It says to never be lacking in zeal, passion, but keep your spiritual fervor and serve the Lord. And what that means is to serve the Lord with enthusiasm and never lose that passion or that fire in your heart for the Lord. So our job as Christians, as believers, is to have that passion and excitement to tell others, right? To spread the word and tell him and her and anybody you meet about Jesus and how amazing he is. And this song is such a great reminder that we are the free. It's us, the believers, that are the free ones. We're the ones that have been redeemed. We're the ones that have been set free from our sin. And that's what Jesus Christ did for us. So now I'm going to go out and I'm going to serve him. And I'm going to tell everybody about that. Pretty cool. Now, the song I'm going to share with you, it says, We are the free, the freedom generation. Sing in a mercy. You are the one who set us all in motion. Yours is the glory. There's a fire in our hearts and it burns for you. It's never gonna fade away. We are the free and yours is the glory. So we're the free. We're gonna share it with everybody and he gets all the glory, right? It's pretty awesome. And then we get to tell the story in the bridge. Up from the grave he rose again, up from the grave he rose and we will rise up, rise up into the world that you so loved, into the world we'll go and we will rise up, rise up, we will rise up. And that talks about how Christ rose from the dead. And now we're going to rise up and we're going to go tell the world all about him. Can you do that, boys and girls? That's what God has told us to do. In Matthew 28, the Great Commission says to go and tell the world. That's our job. It's a good job. And it's a fun job. I don't know about you, but I sure do like telling people about Jesus. Do you? How many people have you told about Jesus this week? Well, let's make it our priority that in the next week or so, we're going to tell somebody about Jesus. Who are you going to pray for? Who's on your heart that needs to hear about how Jesus Christ can set them free? So we are the free boys and girls. We'll see you tomorrow morning for worship. We can't wait. Have a great day. Fire that burns inside Nothing can stop the